Okay, lights on again, and you'll notice that this uh, this goes into that whole best laid plans of mice and men mode. Uh, what I had to do is I had to get that battery hooked up. I, I've been using the lantern here to uh, do the work, and you had to had to change this over again. So what I'm doing is everything, you know, again because we're going from three sets of terminals to two sets of terminals. Everything that is um, battery related uh, is left side, okay? Everything battery related is left side. And so I decided to go ahead and feed it out of this side. I, it's the right side, right? Okay, I, I couldn't really get this to not cross one way or another. These, these wires are going to cross each other no matter what. So everything battery related is left side and then feeds out the right. I, I don't like it, it's the way this thing's engineered. Everything that, or I would have been feeding it out the bottom and they'd be crossing no matter what. There's, there's no way, um, unless I were to use all four knockouts to, to get it to do that, uh, to not cross wires. So, you know, there's good insulation between everything seems to do what it's supposed to do. Uh, so everything that's PV related is on the right side here and I got crossing out here it's nighttime out so I am uh, I, I gotta go and scramble to get some connector for this uh, right here so this can go to this I, I don't want to do a, a raggedy splice I, I may end up using this little scotchy uh, fuse block again just to uh, get it to go but one thing I noticed is this thing apparently had not been handling the heat very well and that's one reason the fuses were getting crooked it apparently it got warm and uh, didn't handle it real well so uh, these are heavy duty and they have a good reputation do i like it fuck no okay i've made my settings here i'm going to check it in the morning i've got an indicator light that's blinking very slowly which means that apparently i'm above 12 volts um as far as I can tell, if I were to leave the lights on though, it would kill the battery. There's there's no low voltage protection on the 12 volt side. Um, I, I don't think that's what this thing does. I, I can double check it, but there is no third set of connectors for that. So I've got my little color code chart here. It says if it's green blinking, it means it's in charge control mode and it's below optimum stuff um i i don't know i mean and then orange is uh blink slow low disconnected and then orange would mean something's wrong um I, you know let's see if i get a different color here if i disconnect the load no i i i Again, I, I don't like it, but it's what everybody says is a good, solid, heavy-duty unit. I guess the real game on this is to spend the extra 100 bucks on a little little thing. It plugs in and gives me a readout, but it's impossible for it to tell me what my outgoing amperage is and a lot of that other stuff. I, I just wish these were made a little more durable. Uh, I, I, I really do. Um, so we're gonna i'm gonna get a connector on here and that's the the zantruck schneider controller they're heavy duty they have a good reputation it's frustrating read your owner's manual over again um and we'll we'll talk about it a little bit more later this this is starting to look a lot goofier than i intended it to but I, it has to be where i can reach the cables and and accomplish what i need to accomplish uh, there's guys that build these into a, a toolbox or something and they charge a couple thousand dollars for it I'm, I'm not in a position to play that game right now. I, I need it to work. So we're getting all this put in Okay, so there we are all hooked up uh, the right color lights are blinking uh, It seems to be a healthy system I'm going to check voltage on a couple of things with a multimeter um, Again, these don't have much of a readout. It just Blinking lights, uh, if it's green blinking, everything's happy. If it's green solid, it's really happy. Um, it's the way these things are. So, I know it's a little bit of scorching on the scotchy car stereo type stuff, but 30 amp fuse is a 30 amp fuse. I, uh, 
might try to find a 35 amp fuse for this because it's a 35 amp uh, charge controller but again we, we shouldn't be it, they didn't pop these fuses it just seemed to have warmed it up and gotten it um, gotten it a little distorted and so I, I don't know uh, you know it's going to take some experimenting with this stuff uh, I'm dealing with a lot more power than a lot of people do uh, normally want to deal with on small off-grid systems uh, we we're, we got 400 watts of production. That's at 12 volts. So there's a lot of amperage pushing through this stuff. We are going real close to maxing out that 30 amps. And I'm I'm running pretty thick cable here. Um, these things are gonna have to get routed a little more carefully. But I was in a hurry to get this hooked up, and the cable's only so long because it was originally set up for a different installation. In transit, I uh, would normally not stack anything really high up here anymore. Although once I think I moved, uh, I, I have moved furniture in here. I just generally got to avoid not stacking any boxes this high. And, and I usually was avoiding that anyway because I didn't want anything crashing through the back windows on the trailer. So this is, it's it's a cargo trailer that's been modified. It's not a not an outright cargo trailer anymore. So given it's a single axle and there's weight limitations I, I really don't want to stack anything higher than this so uh, I can carry some weight lower down but I have no intention of carrying a lot of stuff up high that would bash or crash into this uh, this little thing is gonna have to get wrapped and you know some kind of little cable keeper go up here but I think for tomorrow morning uh, I need to do you need, when you deal with a higher higher amperage type stuff it's safer to do it at night um, when the panels aren't producing power so tomorrow morning I'm going to go out if I'm not mistaken I've only got two panels hooked up right now and unplugged a couple when I was trying to diagnose the system and we'll uh, we'll be going a little bit more and I'm going to go right back to testing mode we've got a table saw that we're going to be testing everything with um, going to cut some plywood on table saw hopefully it works off grid and we'll see more in the morning and this is what the Xantrax charge controller looks like after it's fully installed. I uh, There's a two part video, uh, there's two videos I'm going to edit out for each other on this. This one goes with just the one that's on the Xantrax charge controller. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm not happy with these things. They're, they're, they're a hassle, they're unlike a lot of other stuff on the market. It's, it's a low feature charge controller as far as I'm concerned. The main reason we go for this is because it's heavy duty and it has a good reputation. It's a hassle to install. Um, the, the, everything from the mounting brackets to the knockouts to the cable locations is a hassle. Don't lose your owner's manual. Uh, don't lose your owner's manual. Get familiar with this. If you have questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments section here. I think this is going to be a lot like uh, one of the videos I did on the Belfang uh, UV fog R radios. We're going to stimulate some discussion on these because they're in common usage with a lot of people. It's tricky to use these things, but when you're talking about heavy duty systems that are put under a lot of stress, uh, apparently these are one of the very few games in town that you just have to go with. So we'll talk more about this. I'll probably do some follow-up videos and encourage discussion in the comments section. If you want to do some uh, response videos, fine. Don't be running anybody down. I'll just delete your comments if, if I see a lot of really smart-ass stuff in here. Uh, unqualified opinion. We're going to... I might delete that too. Okay, but if you know about these things, you're familiar with these things, you've hooked these up, uh, you've gone through the owner's manual in more detail, Go ahead, put it in the comments section, and we'll look forward to hearing more from you and stimulating the conversation on these Xantrex uh, Schneider charge controllers.